Thank you for watching. You're always welcome to join us for our daily services. Assuredly, I say unto you, as surely as my God liveth, that God, that God that has put me where I am today, I can assure you, this month of July is going to be a spectacle for you. I can put my life on it. I swear to God, I can put my life on it. It is in this month when doors are going to open on their own accord. Touch your neighbor and say, This month, we are not opening any doors. The doors must recognize us, they must know our name, and they must identify us, and they shall open on their own accord. I don't know if I'm speaking to a man, but I can assure you, this month of July is going to be a month of months for you. You will remember, many years after today, you will remember that there was a turnaround before the July of 2022 that changed your entire life. I'm talking about encounters that look like normal encounters but they have behind them a power to just accomplish everything else aligned to your purpose i said accomplish not start accomplish the dreams that you have the visions that you have the words of prophecy whatever word god has given you this encounter is here to perfect and perform and manifest and bring to fulfillment let me give you a glimpse of what is going to happen in the world in the next 30 minutes. Every person that is a person, they are going to be yielded towards you. Every person that is a person, I am talking about flesh. If my God says he is the God of all flesh, I am talking about every person in this world being aligned to your purpose. I mean billionaires being aligned to your purpose. I mean investors being aligned to your purpose. I don't know if you hear me. Look, I know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe today I've not come to preach. Maybe I've not come to teach. I want to release something to you. And the Lord not only opens the door to establish your calling, but he establishes your calling. It means you are starting to perfect, to do the thing that he has called you to do. God, I pray I have a man. The Lord is establishing you in that realm right now in the name of Jesus. You will not put a finger on it. God is going to send a destiny helper. And he's going to catch you like this and say, here. This is what you're supposed to do. It is established in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, it is in this year that mantles are shifting. It is in this year that mantles are shifting. I know what I'm talking about. When you read biblical history and biblical prophecy, there are mantles that have not been re-established from the times when the, those of Smith Wigglesmith were on the earth. Every person that was in that line, when the great revival of 1948 happened, it is being re-established in this year. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command the anointing to come. I command the mantles to come upon you. Those mantles that we have not seen again are going to resurrect in you in the name of Jesus. Mantles of healing. Mantles of instant healing. Mantles of raising the dead. Mantles of miracles. Mantles of evangelists. Mantles of prophecies. Mantles of prophets. Mantles of pastors. I can assure you that realm has already a 
appeared here the mantles are being shifted to you in this same place I know there are people in this very hour that are being lifted they are being lifted the Lord does not need you to have a degree he does not need you to have anything he's saying I am laying my mantle upon you right now just put up your hands people where you are Put up your hands. The exchange of those mantles appears right now. For all men of God, gone a long time ago. I release mantles in the name of Jesus. I release this mantle in a double portion. Because so says the Spirit of the Lord. The revival was bring men unto God. But this revival is to perfect men unto the glorious God. You receive a double portion. I can assure you, you are receiving a double portion. In your spirit, you have this confirmation right now. The Lord is speaking to you himself. He's speaking to you right now. He's saying, I have begotten thee. I have anointed thee. The Lord is confirming. There is an inner witness on the inside of you. The mantles. You are about to see crowds you have never seen. There's going to be prophetic waves. Prophetic waves from this day that I am speaking. From this day that I'm speaking. There are going to be prophetic waves happening. Because this move of God requires a person full of fire on the inside for them to be able to release fire that fire that prophetic move of fire is coming upon you right now you are called in ministry you are called to change lives you are called to alter the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus the mantle rests upon you and so shall it be that in the next three days you shall be lifted in the name of Jesus. You are going to be caught up in the space, in the realm of the spirit. Whichever line you are in, whichever heaven you are in, the seventh heaven or the ninth heaven, the Lord will confirm these words to you. You are going to stand before God face to face. And so shall he anoint you with a golden cup. And so shall he say unto you, my son, I am well pleased. Please go and represent me and I will go before you and I will go with you and I will never leave your side. So shall you bring the loss back to me. So shall you perfect my saints for me. The Lord is going to bring this to pass. Not more than three days. You have this encounter on your own. In the night of today, I see in the spirit about the hour between two, between 12 and one and one and two. I see the Lord releasing a fire to you. You're going to get expressions in the spirit you have never encountered. I see people reading the word of God. I see an angel bringing the word of the Lord to you in a big Bible. And I see the Lord speaking to you face to face. You're sending. For you the instruction is to eat the word. For some of you the Lord is releasing a mantle of fire. Beyond everything else that is a, a gift. He is going to ignite it with a fire. That when you speak to one person you will have spoken to thousands. That encounter happens tonight. I open the heavenlies for you in the name of Jesus. I open the heavens for you. You see in the spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You see in the spirit. Much clearer than you are able to see. It will not be things of dreams. I said you are going to see in the spirit. It will be an open vision. It will be clear to you. You will be there. Today there shall not remain a demon in your house. There shall not remain any demon in your house. You are going to know. And you are going to see it clearly. You are going to see people. These demons, these evil manifestations, they are going to pack and go one by one, one by one. Tonight, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I refuse that there be any access to you. 
by demons and evil spirits. I close that gate in the name of Jesus. You succeed by force, by fire, in the name of Jesus. It is done. Today we're not going to command the mouth with a list of things we want. We're going to command the mouth by standing in the position God has given us in taking things back to where they are supposed to be. There is nothing that you want that is not already available. You didn't hear me. There is nothing that you want that is not already available. Everything we want is available. I have in my hand, oh, I have some pounds in my hand. Hmm? It is here. Isn't it here? From the place where you are, you can see it is here. Hmm? If I said, come get it, how long will it take you? Everything is available if you're in close proximity with the holder of that thing. I don't know if you hear me. I will say it again. Everything you need is available if you are in close proximity with the person that is holding it. In other words, from where you are seated and where I am, the Lord expects all of us to move and be here and so shall everything we want be released unto us. We are not going to pray for something. Touch someone. Say, so we are not going to pray for something. This time, we are going to ask God to be close to him that everything else will flow unto us the way it is supposed to flow. The people at the back, if you want this ten dollar, come. This ten pound, come. The first, I said at the back, you are not at the back. Back bencher. The fastest person here gets it. And I said in this place, in this prophetic place, understanding comes last. Even in the things of the spirit, God says, obey me. Just obey. I don't think that Abraham understood what it meant to go. He just went. He didn't seek for understanding. The understanding came after he had been crowned the father of believers. The understanding comes last in the things of the prophetic. Sometimes the instruction you've been given is very simple. Stay in the presence of the Lord. And someone will actually say, you know, prophet, there are some things I'm still chasing. You are not chasing anything. I am telling you, at that time, you are not chasing anything. Now, this is going to be how we walk in these days. Hmm? We make July a spectacle. Hmm? Shouldn't it be the, the, the month where, where you dance? Have you experienced this bounce of the Lord's goodness? Where you are happy and people around you notice that you are happy and you don't even know what to tell them because it is something that is unexplainable. Thank you for watching. You're always welcome to join us for our daily services.